A deadly shooting in Jamaica Plain, just the latest incident of violence in the city, and the DA believes it's just going to get worse. I'm Paula Evans. And I'm Liam Martin. Since May 1st, Boston has seen four homicides, 10 shootings, and 21 stabbings. As WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka shows us, the DA believes the warm weather will make it even harder for police. Despite the pandemic and a curfew, Boston has had four homicides in six days. It's a ticking time bomb, unfortunately, because as it gets warmer, we're going to have more and more people outside. The latest murder Thursday night outside a public housing development in Jamaica Plain. I just heard a lot of yelling and screaming going on. We say one man was shot and killed, another critically injured. At one point, the crowd turned on police at the scene. In the end, officers recovered four guns and made two arrests. The officers were met with great hostilities from a hostile crowd. In fact, while the officers were chasing the second armed gunman, one of the individuals tried to engage the officer by tripping him. That man was arrested also. Boston Police crime data for 2020 shows an uptick in homicides, shootings, robberies, and domestic violence assaults as compared to the same time last year. Some of the cause, DA Rachel Rollins says, is due to historic unemployment and the summer-like weather. But as for the people released from jail during the COVID-19 crisis? We believe that there are very, very, very small percentages that have been released on COVID-related motions that have then gone out and made bad decisions again. I can happily say none of them have committed any of the um, four homicides, for example, we've seen in the last six days. Rollins admits that some of those released have committed nuisance crimes. She says her office, along with the police, are working to target those who are responsible for the violence and says she's focused on being proactive. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.